Hey, Auto50. Uh, welcome to Breaks. So I'm going to split this one up. The past couple lectures have been like an hour, hour and a half, and I think um, maybe it's a little too lengthy. I'm going to try to break it up. You guys tell me how you feel about it, uh, which one you prefer. Um, it's getting a little quiet out there, so uh, just feel free to chime in on anything. Say, hey, I'm, everything's good. Just keep doing what you're doing, or hey, maybe do this or that with a lecture or with um, having trouble with the quizzes. Anyways, it's quiet out there. Let me hear what you guys are thinking. Anyways, uh, this week's work, uh, this week, week 11, we're going to talk about breaks. Um, we're going to get into the component tree. We're going to get into um, how everything works, the difference between disc breaks and drum breaks. So I'm going to go ahead and screen share. We'll make this video sort of short since it, uh, it'll be sort of introducing us to the break system. So if you're following along on your PowerPoint here, any moment, there we go, um, should look like this uh, if you've reviewed it. Uh, if not, either way, um, Let's go through this. So, oh, my computer is on. Compute. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm not going to go through all the objectives, but we are going to talk about componentry, as I mentioned. Um, it says prepare for breaks ASE. This is like a very much intro. So, <clears throat> I need to even update this because it's really not, um, it's very introductory. Um, we're going to get into the purpose of the break system. We're gonna talk about, uh, well, right off the bat, we already know brakes are to slow a vehicle. Anytime you use the term uh, brakes in that sense, you're trying to slow something down, right? Um, <clears throat> so not only to slow, but to bring the vehicle to an actual stop and to keep it stopped. So you'd think like, okay, it just stops. Well, there's sort of three components to that. First thing is know your brakes and no break versus breaks, <laughs> or break versus break. So on uh, the left-hand side here, we have a drum break, B-R-A-K-E, assembly. On the right here, we've got a gentleman who is taking a break. Hey, Ralph, remember this one? Um, so this is taking a break, B-R-E-A-K, um, versus a break assembly. Now, also, if you're talking about um, if you're talking about uh, breaking a break, as in you're, you're messing it up, then if we're talking about something actually breaking in that sense, like I broke a stick or I broke an axle, um, that is going to be B-R-E-A-K. Anytime we've got B-R-A-K-E, that's going to be the actual assembly or, or referring to that assembly. So uh, who knew, right? Make sure you get that right or else customers are going to see stuff written on repair orders and again, they're going to think, man, this person doesn't even know the difference between brake and brake. I can't trust them with my life to change my brakes. So uh, this, this, it seems simple, but it's very important to remember. Um, let's just take a quick look at the a typical brake assembly uh, in the vehicle or not assembly, I'm sorry, the entire system just as a whole. So it's actually not that complicated. We're talking about a fairly basic circuit, um, not including stuff like ABS right now, but we, it all starts from the driver, right? So we have our brake pedal that you or the customer or whatever, whoever's driving the vehicle is going to step on, which is then going to engage something we call a master cylinder. We'll get into that, that uses brake fluid. This whole system, our brakes run off of uh, hydraulics essentially and I'll explain that in a few slides here this big piece here is our our brake booster we'll talk about the the boost system um, and then we go down to a combo valve and then down through these hydraulic lines when I say the term hydraulic I'm just simply referring to something that utilizes fluid for movement um, and then down to the actual wheel brake assemblies. Now in this picture here, we've got front brakes that are a disc design or a rotor design in the back, which are a drum design. I'm gonna get into the different types of components, uh, the different theories of how they work. I'm gonna include some videos in this section in Canvas so you guys can actually see the movement because understanding the movement and seeing that is super duper important to uh, being able to diagnose brake systems, being able to uh, understand how they work also helps you um, pretty much with everything else 
what's supposed to wear out, what's not supposed to wear out kind of things. So this is a very basic system. Um, obviously, we're not including some things like uh, ABS, as I mentioned. Um, there are different types of boost systems. Some vehicles are all four discs. Some old, older vehicles are all four drums. We'll explain why in a few. So um, let's go ahead and just briefly talk about, before I hit the next video, what I just showed you was the brake system as a whole. We, in automotive, um, need to take things down from one large system, break it down into subsystems, and just sort of take things down into bite-sized pieces, I think. For me, and I know for a lot of you, understanding how things work, it's harder to do if you're looking at one big complicated system. Um, it seems a lot more complicated than it actually is if we just simply break it down. What are the building blocks of the system? And so the brake system is separated into around six different subcategories. Your book may refer to it a little bit differently. Um, each book does. But we've got what, again, like I said, it starts with the apply system with the driver. Um, so apply system where the brakes are actually applied. The boost system is going to assist our brakes. The hydraulic system is pretty much what makes our brakes actually work and do, do what they do, utilizing fluid. Um, wheel brakes themselves down at the wheels to do the braking. Um, there's a, a brake balance control because our braking in the front is not done the same as in the rear and vice versa. And we'll explain why when we get there. And then there are brake warning lights as well to think about. And this doesn't really include it in here, but there is some electrical involved. What about your brake lights, right? That's sort of important to understand how that uh, plays in all of this. So that is our brake system as a whole, um, if we're looking at that. So I've got this broken down into each system, but I'll go ahead and do that in a separate video. Um, so we'll go ahead and pause here. And then we will go into our next video. I will stop share here. All right.